Welcome to Connective TV this week. I'm Peter Cole. Peter, let's start with interest rates this week. Not a lot of change this week. Homeside came out last Friday and reduced one, two and three year rates on the Home Plus loan. Pepper has reduced rates on their Flexi Advantage and self-employed products from the 15th of September 2011. And Provident Capital also reduced rates on their variable and fixed rate products. So Peter, I believe that the Commonwealth Bank has made an interesting announcement on their interest rates and on their competitors. Yeah, it, it's, it's an interesting one. Um, what they've uh, done is they've come out and said that for, they've come out with a home loan guarantee offer where they'll beat any advertised rate for equivalent home loans, investment loan, line of credit for ANZ, NAB and Westpac and they'll beat that rate by 0.01% for applications received from the 12th of September to the 30th of September. So for more information refer to the Commonwealth Bank flyer in the weekly bulletin. So what about policy changes? Not a lot this week. Uh, Commonwealth Bank, for, again from Monday the 12th of September, made some changes to the genuine savings. They will now accept inheritance if it's been in an account for three months and they'll also use rental payments to support the 5% genuine savings where it's been there for less than three months. But again, refer to the weekly bulletin for details. And any news on products? Yeah, well, Liberty has come out with three new prime products, the Sharp, Star and Free Loans, all starting at competitive rates from 6.99%. Refer to this week's bulletin for more detail. And what about Latrobe Financial? Well, they want to remind us, uh, or to remind you, the broker, that if you're having trouble finding a lender uh, who'll do low-doc commercial, give them a call. And they'll also consider cash out for business purposes. What else is happening out there? Well, in general news, Heritage Building Society is seeking to change its name to Heritage Bank Limited, which is the next stage in their evolution. And what about Macquarie? Well, uh, Macquarie have alerted us to the fact that people living in Queensland uh, will be issued new driver's licences. And what does that mean? Well, what that means is uh, that you'll need to, because of that new style, you'll need to photocopy both the front and back when submitting the licence as part of uh, ID evidence. And in addition, they've also made some changes to forms and guides which have been uploaded into the Mercury website. And that's all from Connective TV this week. Next week, there'll be a new face. Wait to see who it is.